I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at how to solve problems with your Fitbit syncing to your phone. Um, so I've, I've used a lot of different Fitbits over the last several years, and I found that with the last few, I've had kind of intermittent issues with the Fitbit syncing data to the phone, where it sometimes wouldn't sync and it would get stuck in this pattern where it couldn't sync for even up to a couple of days. It makes it really challenging to get your stats and also to download updates for the watch and use the smart features. Um, so one thing that I found, there's a couple of solutions you can try, firstly. Um, the first thing is just to go into the uh, device itself and um, to enable all day sync, which you can see in the middle of the screen there, um, so that it's constantly trying to connect. And then if that doesn't work, to go down to the bottom and turn on always connected which actually brings up a background app on your phone that stays connected to the watch. And that can uh, reduce the battery life, but it does tend to result in better, uh, kind of more reliable syncing. But if you press the sync now button and it just hangs there for a long time, or it says unable to find Bluetooth um, or any kind of other air message with the, with the watch, um, the thing that I actually found was the, the fix for that, for me anyway, was that I had a bunch of extra devices uh, on my screen here. So I had used probably five different Fitbits over the years. Um, and you can see I joined in 2011, so I've had Fitbit for a while now. Um, and I had, I think, about five different devices here on the screen. And it was still trying to sync to all of those different devices. So um, when it would try to do that and fail, I think it would mess up the syncing with my uh, Versa, which is my current Fitbit that I'm using and testing. Um, so what I found helped a lot was to go through and delete those devices. And what, what actually did it for me was deleting some of the older um, Fitbits that I had in there, but I'll show you what it's like to delete a device. Um, so this is an Aria Smart Scale. I haven't actually synced to it in a long time. It's right below my Versa, so I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna click on the little trash can in the upper right. And then it's going to tell me um, any unsynced data will be lost. I'll say remove. And there we go. So that gets rid of that extra device that I wasn't using. And again, for me, the scale actually didn't cause a problem, but it was about the five other devices that it was trying to sync with uh, on a day-to-day -day basis that were causing the issue. And once I went through and used that process to delete all of them so that it's only the Versa there in my account, then all of these syncing issues went away. Um, and now I can go in and sync and it's, uh, you know, the smart features work and everything is nice and consistent. Um, and again, you know, I think it's worth noting this happened with me even on a, a brand new Versa watch. So it wasn't the watch and this is a relatively new phone. So it wasn't the phone either. I think it really was the fact that it was trying to sync with those other devices. Um, and then when that would fail, it would sort of shut the whole process down. So again, the first steps to take, um, just change those settings to all day sync and always connected. And then check if you have old devices, go through, try to remove them, see if that solves your syncing issues with the Fitbit Versa, the Ionic, I mean, any of the Fitbit devices may have that challenge. And uh, again, I found that was a good solution for me. Um, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel, it really helps.